welcome to another video of uh, Walkabout Town. Today, well, I've just uh, been to the uh, Parsonage Winter Park, just had uh, lunch at the KFC, which you can see behind me. And, uh, well, I just finished work at about one o'clock, and uh, well, I'm heading back to the bus station. The reason is because my car's broken down, and uh, at first I thought it was the battery, but obviously it isn't. But uh, it turns out to be something else, the fuel pump. So, uh, do look a bit rough around the edges today, because uh, I've not shaved. So uh, I do look a bit rough. So uh, let's go. Uh, I finished work about, as I said, just finished work about one. You know, for a, for a Christmas week, it was pretty steady. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that was good. Yeah. So maybe the big Christmas rush will probably come at the weekend. It usually does. So, uh, yes. But here we are walking down Walmsley Road. And of course, walking past the old side of the old uh, Constance Street uh, College, which was also the old girls' school that used to be here a long time ago. Well, how long ago was that? Uh, ooh, I think. I seem to remember the building being demolished back in the early 90s. As I remember when we did a foundation course here at this site, they uh, talked about moving to Marshall Street and uh, we all ended up there. Well, there I got to take on a few subjects, uh, which was uh, Jim VQ Legend Tourism and GCC Drama. Two subjects there, yeah. But of course I discovered that with both of them you could uh, combine the two somehow and bring ideas to both tables. Although it didn't always quite work out, but you know, with the general idea was there. But, you know, oh, there. We'll take, we'll take a look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I bet it looks good at night, that. I'll have to do a vlog on that sometime. And, uh... I always like these displays here. There's a little street garden. Nice little street garden. Of course, we're going... Uh, carrying up uh, Walmsley Road. And, uh... We're just passing by Langdale Street. Here in Lee. And, of course, uh... Yeah, Langda Street. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so it's always been nice to get into a nice warm shower because the only thing you've been working all week and it feels sweaty. And you just want to get in the shower. And that's what I feel like right now because my hair is all an absolute mess. <laughs> yeah, it's just an absolute mess. <sighs> Of course, uh, of course, uh, coming past towards Eight uh, Eight Street. Yeah, uh, how do you pronounce that? Is it Eight Street? I think it's Eight Street. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, uh, there's a car going by there. Uh, uh, there's the remains of a uh, railroad college building over there. Yeah, it's just a derelict building now. It would be nice to have seen it turn into something. But, uh, well, apparently the funding's not there. It was, but what's happened to it? Hmm, probably has spent on the Grand Arcade, I imagine. Now, of course, here we, uh, come by, uh, the, the Catholic Church here in Wormsley Road. In fact, I do believe this is where I was christened. Yeah, the, uh, is it, uh, it is called, what is it, the Parish of St. Edmund's Arrowsmith, the Sacred Heart R.C. Church. Which is in all the world. Yeah. Of course, I was told that they, uh, well, I was told that the priest wasn't even going to do the christening. And the guy said, well, we'll just go somewhere else. Well, so he changed, soon changed his mind. Yeah. You know, it's one of the probably reasons why I don't follow religion of any kind, really. It, it's just, just total nonsense to me, but, you know, that's how it is. We'll see how past what used to be the county court here in Lee. Uh, I don't know what it is now. 
There's this what is it? it does say on what that is, but I forgot what it is. Yeah. If someone could tell me in the comments below you know what it is now, I would appreciate it. Now of course the building there used to be the print shop where it was run by a lovely couple. Oh what's happened now? They think they've retired now. Well, usually you get my scripts printed from there, but it was easy. When I'd uh, be doing script shop, if the printers weren't working at the library, they would come here and do, like, a number of copies. So that, uh, the scripts. Yes, I used to do script shop, which was uh, a Wednesday night drama group of kind, where we wrote our own, uh, wrote our own plays, original, original ideas, and we'd, uh, and we'd perform it at a provincial link, not in front of trials, but then we'd suspect, select the best scripts for performance for any cabaret shows that we did. You know, it would be nice to see Script Shop come back, but in a different guise. I think it would be nice to see it come back. We are coming past uh, Lee Parish Church here, which is the St. Mary's Church. Oh, I won't, you know. Square. There's the uh, grounds of the parish church. You know, wouldn't mind doing a vlog in there sometime. You know, take a look around, have a look at it and get to the top of the uh, church tower. Top of the church clock tower. Of course, you have to get permission to do that, and uh, I've been up there once, but I was in the bell tower actually. Yeah. Of course, the church is open today. Yeah. I'm not much of a church goer, but I do like the artwork inside these churches. They're very, they're very quite relaxing places, really, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try and cross this road. It's like a bloody convoy of cars today. Jeez. Yeah, that bus stop that's not quite in use. A lighting only. Hmm. Yeah, it's been there for some years. I don't know why they have a bus stop here. It's just doing nothing really. Why they have a bus stop? Now this is something I wanted to show you while I was in here in Lee today, while I just walked into town. Is that uh, well, it's Christmas, as you know, and on Lee Town Hall Square there is no Christmas tree. That's right, there's no Christmas tree. What? Why is there no Chris? And the question is, why there is there no Christmas tree here on the town hall, here on the town hall library square? Real big, mi that's a real baffling mystery, that isn't it? Why is that? Yeah, because sometimes they put a Christmas tree up there on on that small part of the building there. Yeah, if you can see it to the to, to the right hand side of this picture. You can see it, and somehow there's a tree. Hmm, very strange. And usually, I know that last year they had a tree right here, somewhere here. They used to have a tree right in the middle. It was a beautiful, it was beautifully lit up, but uh, you know, but uh, this year they haven't got one. Well, they got one in the spinner gate. Of course, they got one in. They got one in the spinning gate. I suppose that counts as a Christmas tree in Leeds. Well, I suppose it's been nothing. But uh, it looks like Wigan Council have really stepped up this year. What is going on, Wigan Council? Really? Oh dear. No real. No, come on, get your act together. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it's all the money they spent. On building the new facilities at Wigan, maybe that's what it is. All right, I understand things have to move on. But well, at least we've got some nice light. Well, I'm walking this thing. You know, light. It's got some nice lights. No, because it's a bit noisy around here with the traffic. You know, it's so sad to see a lot of the shops just literally uh, with shutters down. Some offer to let and that kind of thing. You know, it's so sad, really. But then again, 
It's gone like that the way of a lot of towns around here. It's gone that Look how busy it is around here. I mean, literally busy. That's CGX, uh, second shop, which used to be the casting generator over there. Yeah. Well, this place is absolutely busy. Well, or is it? But I'm going to cross the road in a minute. In the town centre, on um, Bradgegate, just saw on um, the approach to the bus station. It looks like the bus um, is not in yet. Yeah. As I said before, the car is out of action, so I'm having to call my bus. However, it does give me an opportunity to do another video. I haven't done one for a bit because, uh, well, I've been doing other things. I was going to do Ben's Garden Centre, but unfortunately, my car went into a, 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 went into a technical difficulty and uh, first of all, it was the battery. And I had to wait all day for a mechanic to come see. And then when they did finally, you know, they failed to turn up. Which is not very good. I don't like it when people say they'll turn up at a certain time and then not be there. It's really annoying when people don't show up. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, don't they want to be paid at all? Of course, there was certainly a high demand for the breakdown services. I mean, I'm with the RAC, and it took till about 9.20 to get there. Anyway, it looks like my bus is coming in, so, <laughs> so I may get on this one, I think, is it 34? Yep, 34 is coming in. I don't wait for the other, but I don't know where that's gone. Maybe it's, uh, anyway. Where's the move? I was on the way to the bus driver. Yeah. To the bus. Anyway, that's it. Well, here I am, heading back home from the bus. Uh, number 34. Anyway, I hope you like this video. And uh, if you do, please like and subscribe. Hopefully, we'll do the uh, videos on uh, some of the uh, nice Christmas displays that some people have put up 